Thoughts on the drug epidemic? Well, I'm not sure there is an epidemic any more than there always has been. I know that there is now a tilt towards drugs in, in the U.S. in particular, like meth and and um, fentanyl and the other opiates, and that's quite a catastrophe. Um, a lot of that is occurring among people who don't have meaning in their lives, I would say. And you might think that's a facile answer, but it's not. You know, like here, here's the rat literature. Like it's if you take a rat, lab rat, typical lab rat is you know genetically bred. Uh, to be identical with many other lab rats and he lives alone in a cage and he he's got a pretty miserable rat life because rats are social animals and they don't like to live in cages by themselves and you can get a lab rat in a cage addicted to co cocaine in no time flat and he'll he'll like press a lever for a cocaine reward to pretty much to the exp to the exclusion of all else including sex and often including food but if you take that same rat and you put him in a rat family, you know, in a rat social hierarchy, in a rat environment, and give him something that rat rat like to do so that he can be satisfied, it's very difficult to get him addicted to cocaine. And so I would say the reason that people take psychomotor stimulants, and all the drugs of serious abuse are psychomotor stimulants, re regardless of what else they might be, they activate the dopaminergic system, which is the system that tracks reward and that that is associated that's activated when you pursue val valuable goal directed behavior um, if you don't have that if you don't have a valid goal if you don't have and so no no real valid meaning in your life if you don't have a valid ambition then you don't have any way of activating that system and why the hell wouldn't you take drugs it's like you have to have something better to do to not addict yourself you know so so i would say that a huge part of the current epidemic in in, in the u.s in particular is is manifest among broken men who have no real place in society and providing them with money isn't going to help that they need a productive and meaningful existence and which is the paramount the paramount goal should be the paramount goal of social of social policy for example we, we it isn't the alleviation of poverty that's really the issue because people in the West aren't poor there might be a bit of a distribution problem but we're not poor what we have is a, a uh, what would you say a we have a problem of meaningful engagement and that's what has to be addressed and that's why I do the work that I'm doing. So.